2019, first December, the last month of the year, my driver for me as a Christian is that anything and everything that has tortured you throughout the year should end with you as the year ends with this month. Nature. Nature. I believe to you, I do not bless you. I believe to you. Wherever you are, wherever you are watching me from, my greetings and my love to you. My name is Mami Grace, if I call me your spiritual goddess. At this particular moment, you can call me the love keys or the medium. Everybody that calls you pain, everybody that is planning to cause you pain, my prayer for you is Esther chapter 9, verse 1 to 4. Read it, let it sink into your spirit. If you have been praying, I pray that God should be mercy. If you lack anything, I pray the Lord provides for you. I bring you greetings from the spiritual side of the life or of your life. I believe to you. I encourage you. I send you love. I send you hope. I send you everything that you need. I help in wiping away your tears. I send you peace. And I send you peace. Please, I want you to search your, search your heart. Set your soul all through your life. What is it that you are going to do right? It's not everything that is spiritual. You are watching spiritual hour with the goddess. When you see me in black, I am in my element. And when you talk black, you talk power. And when you talk power, you talk spirituality. When you talk spirituality, you talk life. And all these things is from Africa. Today I'm in my DNA and I send you greetings from whoever you have lost before. Who have you missed? That person that died, that puts a lot of tears in your heart. I send you love from all your loved ones that you've lost. Once again, I welcome you. You are watching Spiritual Hour. Today we are going to digest. We are going to delve into ayahuasca. What is ayahuasca? Change it. If we deal with all the bad behaviors in us, the devil will not have any platform. He will not have any crack to make sure things have, have grown in, in the crack for it to eat us up. If we are able to clean ourselves and cling unto the Lord, the devil will not have anything to do with that. Please don't think you are strong. Oh, Africa, we started so well. Who bewitched us? Why have we demonized everything great that was left for us? We are talking about ayahuasca experience. I'm going to take you through ayahuasca ceremonies. I tell you to book your appointment, Kumase Takrade, Sogakope, Volta region, we are coming through to you. We want you to heal from within. What? My fellow Christians, start praying so that nobody can deceive you in the name of God. A lot of people are hallucinating in the name of prophecy. You are being deceived. But when you know God and you read your Bible, you will enter into 2020 with a clean spirit. So I am giving you ayahuasca ceremony. So you yourself, you connect yourself with supernatural beings. You connect yourself with your ancestors. That person now we will not we are so much hurt. You want to know what killed the person. You want to know, you want to communicate, you know. You travel and then you meet them. Go to your past. Come to your present. That is ayahuasca ceremony. The first in Ghana. 
Ube to me, Abuki, we are coming to Kumasi, we are coming to Sogakope, we are in Accra, we are booking for group sessions. Ube to me, a, a, a booking appointment. I'm telling you to know yourself, gain your consciousness. I'm taking everyone to the uh, awakening process and I'm saying, do everything spiritual all by yourself. We are Christians, we have four mindsets, instructions. Don't do what you're not supposed to do. In the name of Christ. Christ died for you to have life. Leave for him to be happy he died for you. Please go to church. Read your Bible. Have something to do. My name is Mami Grace. You can call me African goddess of spirituality. I am everything spiritual. Today, all my words are divine. They are from your ancestor. They are from your grand, grand, your great, great grandparent. Everything I'm giving you from now to one month is divine. I want you to digest. May the Lord be with you. I wish you well. May next year, first December, by this time, be a good year for you. Be a testimony year for you. The devil has left you. Because you have left everything you do for him. He has no business with you. God be with you. Stay safe. I love you. Lead a great life. Eat well. Drink a lot of water. Read your Bible and lead a free life. God bless you. Family, I'm really, really sad about this state of Mommy Grace. Look at how beautiful she started and how she's ending right now. My prayer is with her. But listen. The Bible never lies. Proverbs 13, 20 says, He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. If you walk with wise people, you are going to be wise. If you walk with fools, you are going to be fools. In her case, she walked and entertained people who were into these things. And look at what is happening to her. 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says, Do not be deceived. You see, sometimes you may feel like, Oh, I'm well able. I can handle it. It says, Evil communications corrupt good manners. When you continually stay in the atmosphere of evil and deception, you are easily going to be deceived. This is what has happened to innocent Mommy Grace who was full of zeal to preach Christ and to lead people to Christ. Now look at her. Today she's an ambassador of the ancestors, the mouthpiece of the gods, the one who is sending um, all kinds of ritual performances and ceremonies from region to regions. I keep her in my prayers and I want you to keep her in your prayers, at least. Let's pray for her. God may show her mercy and she may have a last chance of becoming spiritually aware of how deep she's fallen. But the lesson here is that as a Christian and a minister of God, check your company. They influence what you eventually become. Not all networking is good for you. Find out about the people you connect and you work with. Do they uphold the truth of scripture? Do they believe in the essential doctrines of the faith? Do they believe that Jesus is God? Do they believe he is man? Do they believe Jesus actually came to save man? Do they believe in salvation by grace? If they don't believe these things, what do they believe? And do they believe them absolutely? Do they think that ministry and life is all about money? Anybody who thinks this way is not a servant of God. They are servants of money. Watch out and be aware. We are in the last days and the enemy is taking advantage of the ignorance of people and sweeping them after him. Look at somebody going for power. Somebody trying to find out how they can be more powerful. And look at the end. Listen, there is no authority beyond what is in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ our Lord said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto him. Search the scriptures. You will find how God can empower and use you. You don't need to go for all these things. It's unnecessary. You are selling your soul for a cheap price. It's like exchanging your diamond for a stone that can do nothing. I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.